What is up, guys? Wraith here, Great Bearded Gaming. We uh, we actually just got back to our little spot at the windmill. We um, a couple of rumors running around. There was actually somebody else around here a minute ago, but anyway, we actually we had to bail on a, on a bad pull. We did not kick the bucket, but it was very uh, very prudent to take off. And basically, what we did was we just had a huge chain of resist on a saber tooth grimalkin. And it just, it got out of hand so quickly, so very quickly. We were almost out of mana, just trying to get this thing dotted, trying to get it rooted. And we didn't have our, uh, you know, debuff on the bar, even though we <laughs> haven't had that much great luck with the debuff either, in honesty. But we, uh, we finally got a root to stick. So we just took off, got a pretty good ways away, and just camped out. Um, I was actually gonna, I was gonna make a break for the zone line when I realized, all right, root is holding. Let's just camp at a safe distance. We camped out, so that's why you know, like most of the stuff is still just refreshing. But we've uh, we've been on a pretty good, uh, we've been on a pretty good run. We're uh, set a little over 60% through level. We've had a, a pretty good luck right here in this area. Like I said, and I'll kind of keep pulling as I'm as I'm talking here. Where somebody else came through because there's a dead something or other, and there's no way we killed the one that was. Oh, yep, there we go. We got uh, someone else in the area, apparently, which is fine. It's, it's all gravy. Saber 2 Tiger, you're blue. Now, what we have been doing is uh, we definitely we take advice from the chat channel. We've been pulling with slow, especially on these Saber Tooths, because they hit the hardest of anything out here. So we've been pulling with slow. We still pull back to the wall. There's you know, like no real pathers way back here, which puts us in a really good spot. We pull with the slow. We start casting one of our debuffs. Like I said, sometimes these guys can hit like X, and he's a saber tooth tiger, not a saber tooth grimalkin, so he's a little bit smaller. So we'll have an easier time with this guy than we have some of the others. But generally, what we've been doing is we pull them all the way back. We get them all the way dotted. With the guys that we can just handle toe to toe with the slow, we tend to actually just kind of do it that way. With most of the saber tooth grimalkins, however, we still it's much wiser to still root them and back off, only because they seem to have the most hit points of anything out here so far. And at the same time, the, they'll hit us into the 40s pretty regularly. They can hit pretty hard. A couple of them have actually hit us you know, slightly more than that. And it's, you know, I am, for somebody with a shaman who's got all these buffs, you'd think I would be better about remembering to actually buff myself up. I was a good boy just now. And just reset everything. And we buffed everything back up. But uh, I'm horrible about remembering to buff myself with anything other than like sew and regen. But uh, let's just nuke this guy. Call it a day. Oh, oh you're going to be like that, huh? Alright, die tired. Wow! But yeah, like I said, we've, uh, except for that one. That one bad kitty. We've been on, you know, a pretty good run. Just kind of chilling back here in the corner. We, um, we had one really stray adventure. We ran all the way to the other side of the lake, uh, up near the Goblin Ruins, uh, back near... It's like basically between the Goblin Ruins and that, that long riverbed um, to Frony of Eye, where somebody had, uh, I believe it was a deep water harpoon kind of rotting. So we took a dash, mad dash, trying to get there one evening. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure whether it was a, a lag thing or, or what was kind of going on. We got all the way over there. We did find the guy. He's like, oh, yeah, you still got time. And we could not see the body at all. Like, he's like, I'm standing right on top of it. I'm like, I cannot see this body. Like, I would target him. I would assist him, do a slash loot. Like, I was doing everything, you know, manually trying to see is the body underground or whatever. Um, so we did not actually get the free spiffy uh, spear update, which is which is too bad. It would have been nice, especially for some of the stuff we're doing now, right? Because while the damage is pretty much the same as what we have on now, um, right now ours is like 834, 835. Yeah, 834, and it is magic, uh, but this other one, it's like 824, so it's quite a bit faster, plus it has some stats, so it's some dexterity, I think it's some hit points, and the raw hit points are fine, that was really the big thing. And these guys have been great for us. And he's a smaller one, so I'm not even going to worry about necessarily going full up on mana for this guy. But the skeletons have been carrying swords and weapons, and they've been worth money, so we've actually been able to bankroll a little bit of plat, because we'll... Uh, most of the weapons we've seen so far have sold for about a plat or two, and we just run right here in a little windmill when we get heavy, 
and uh, and pawn them off, which has been kind of decent. So I don't remember how much we came out here with, but we're when you count the gold, and we're we're sneaking up near you know holding on to about 66 plat. So every time we see these guys carrying something, we sure to, to try to knock them out. And the the saber tooth cat fangs have been worth thinking about well, about a plat a piece, I think. I mean we're we're trollish, so we're not going to get the best prices, but. Uh, Anything beats carrying around big, hefty, chunky weaponry. The part's been handy, and we've we've get battled it out with most of the stuff around here. The um, the skeletons are pretty easy. We can stand toe to toe with them, uh, even when the slow wears off. Typically, we're we're pretty okay. They don't do a ton of damage to us. We um, I've noticed the things that path from this side over here tend to be a little bit smaller. It will finally craft it. I think more or less we've had like some polish and stuff. We'll see what that one sells for. But uh, the stuff that paths from the right side over here tends to be a little bit smaller than the stuff that paths from the left. And there's really only one thing on like he paths all the way out, comes back this way, and then comes back. It's the only thing that paths this far back on this side. So we've been really safe back here in the corner, which has been nice. Uh, like so we've been doing the cats, uh, the XRs when we can grab them. The skeletons have been great. We've been very careful with the goblins. There are some goblins, but of course... Like, all of them have Spirit of the Wolf. All of them have so. Most of them are Shaman. We have done a few of them when we were at absolute full health, full mana. We had uh, some buffs for a while. Uh, Druid came by and we ended up, like, with uh, uh, Skin Like Nature, which is pretty handy. So we felt, uh, you know, exceptionally brave for a little bit. We've also been trading our buffs when possible. Uh, lots of people are camping the Goblin Kazuki rings. So there's probably no chance we'll ever, ever see that. I think there's people pretty much posted out on some of the spawn points, just waiting to see uh, if it pops. But we're going to sit here. We're going to keep pulling. I'm not going to sit here and do a whole other video of just, you know, pulling and fighting. We're going to sit here. We're going to keep pulling. I'm going to throw up the looking for group flag, I think, this evening and see, can we get a group invite? Can we get, uh, you know, maybe in one of the goblin groups? Do we get maybe invited to the Sarnax? You know, something like that. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what goes. But I'm going to, like I said, throw the looking for group up and, uh, you know, check back in with you guys here in a bit. So stick around, guys. Hopefully we uh, get some group action. If not, I'll just merrily keep pulling away here. But I'll either way, I'll let you guys know how it comes out here in a few minutes, guys. Stick around. All right, guys. Game is on. We got. Uh, we're trying to find out. We're hoping that we're going to get experience for this because we're with uh, a couple of bigger kids. But we are uh, in a group in the Sarnak Fort. I'm actually going to drop a clip here in a second of what happened when we first got here because it was a total. Puck, and we get experience. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. This will end, hopefully, our drought of uh, of bad runs, I'm hoping. But we are here. I said I'm, uh, you know, I even asked. Everybody said it was cool if I grabbed some stuff for the channel, so we plan to do that. Get some uh, get some pulls. We got a nice monk and I believe a pretty much a druid doing some action right here. We're going to be doing some slow motion and doing some buffing. I think we should be in a really good spot. Again, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to show you my little snip of what happened when we first got here, just so you can see, because it was uh, it was not very friendly at all. Speaking of not friendly, I made that one mad, but we will back off. We will be very, very careful. Yeah, this guy is big, pretty red to us, and he hits like a truck. So let's uh, try this again. That time we got him. All right. So we're going to be healing, we're going to be buffing, we're going to do our thing. So stick around, get ready for a very, very interesting train, and we will check back in here in just a bit.
All right, guys. Well, that was a very good time. The uh, the group actually broke up. I said after we uh, we lost our, our druid friend, who was I mean a good chunk of our DPS. Like I was focusing on like I said the healing, most of the buffing. Like she would heal if we had to, but she did like a lot of dotting, nuking, and snaring to keep things from walking away. But um, again, really good time. Really great people. Like I said, I did ask to make sure they were cool with me doing the footage. Everybody said it was solid. So thanks for letting me do that, guys. That was, a, again, very good time. And a long time, I've had a good group like that. And the Starnak Fort's always fun, even though if I don't remember my way around that place to save my life. Um, so when we had to leave, it was like, well, let's invis and stumble around and get back to the door. So, But we did, uh, we are super close to level, so we should easily pick up uh, level 26 in our next play session, which will be nice. Unfortunately, of course, we don't get spells for a little while, but... Either way, it's just been a while since we picked up levels, so that would be would be pretty cool. But guys, it has been a great adventure, been a great night. We picked up a whole lot of experience, hung out with some really cool people, didn't kick the bucket, even though we came close a time or two, but a whole lot of fun. But I think we're going to call it a night with that one and just camp out here safely on the edge of the lake. As always, guys, if you like what we're doing, Please don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe down below. We do love to hear from you guys in the chat. And we, we follow good advice. Pull with the slow. Gotcha. It worked perfectly for us. It got us this far. So we'll keep doing that. But until next time, guys, stay safe. Stay distant. Hey, stay in EverQuest, man. It's still a great place to be after all these years. Night, guys.